Brian Mayfield. Minister Denise Mosley. Minister Warren Rudd. Minister William Walker. Minister Thomas Waters. And Minister Diane Wilson. To the ministers, do you believe that you are called to be a minister at this local church? Do you now, in the presence of these witnesses, commit yourself to this sacred trust and ministerial responsibility? Yeah. Do you respectfully submit to the vision and the authority of the bishop and the eldership of this church? Please respond one by one. I will and I do. Will you commit to consistent study of the Holy Scriptures in order to strengthen your relationship with God and more effectively serve His people? Will you continue to maintain an intimate fellowship with God through a lifestyle of consistent prayer. Please respond. I will. I will. I will. I will. Will you do all in your power to uphold the bylaws, the articles, and tenets of faith of this local assembly? Will you endeavor to promote unity and love amongst the members of this fellowship? Say amen, church. Amen. At this time, you may be seated except for the spouses. If you're married, you may stand here. If your spouses are here, would you step forward, please? Give them a hand, amen. You have witnessed the fact that your spouse is called and appointed by God to stand in this sacred office. Are you in agreement with the church that your wife or husband is chosen to perform the sacred tasks. Are you willing to allow them to operate and flow in this sacred office as they continue their marital duties of being a husband or a wife? Are you willing to allow them to operate and flow in this sacred office as they continue their parental duties of being a father, a mother? Are you willing to stand next to your spouse to assist them in anything that is related to this sacred office? Say amen, church. Amen. The presbytery at this time. Can I take you to the parish? Because we're recording. Father, we thank you for the life of our daughter in the Lord that you have softened to call her to the office of minister. And as her spiritual covering, we lay hands on her in the name of Jesus. And we thank you, Lord, that you will prove faithful as she ministers the word of God all over this place, all over this country, 
We thank you for your faithfulness. We have watched her grow. We have watched her sit under the word. We have watched her under the power and the anointing of the Holy Spirit. And Father, we set her apart right now in the matchless name of Jesus. And we thank you for counting her worthy as we set her apart in the sacred office of minister in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for our son. We thank you for some when we see you, I see grace. You are an example of the grace of God. I'm just flowing here. The times you thought you would never achieve this. I've seen you go to the foot of the mountain as the man of God proclaimed. Get right halfway and go right back down. Then you would get up again, go a little bit further, and go back down. But thank God you did not stop. You went on with all bruises, faults, and failures just like the rest of us. But you made it to the mountain tonight. And I charge you, I charge you to go back home and be the man of God that God has showed you in dreams and visions. For this is the night that you saw years ago that has finally come to pass. Therefore, you preach with a fullness. You preach with a confidence. You teach with the anointing of your Father that we bestow upon you now. In Jesus' name, amen. Father, we thank you for the life of our son. Minister William, we give you glory, we give you praise. And Father, as he goes into this sacred office, I ask you to lead him and guide him through all truth and righteousness. Let him realize, Father, it is the grace of God and not himself. And with the power invested in me as bishop of this house, we set you apart as a minister of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Give the Lord a hand. I would like to stay up here, please. All the spouses stay, I'm going to pray for you. Father, I ask you, Help her to stand by her man's side as he goes to and fro, being the man that you have called him to be in this sacred office. Help her to be understanding. Help her to intercede for him and raise his arms in the midnight hour when he's burdened down with the people of God in his life and ministry. We give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father, we lay hands upon her now that you will lead her and guide her as she stands beside her husband that she may help him and assist him to do ministry, to be a prayer warrior and strengthen them as never before. We give you praise glory and honor in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. 